What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I am showing you the Ultimate F-150. This thing was customized by TC Customs and before we get into the video I want to say a huge thanks to Mike who reached out to us from Tennessee and said, you know what Mitchell, I want to I want to build the baddest truck you guys have ever done. Well that is what you're looking at and that is coming up next on Town & Country TV. <music> Before we get into the actual video itself, do apologize for the sound of my voice. These allergies are killing me. Don't worry, I don't have the Rona. But let's talk about what we're looking at here. This is a 2020 Ford F-150. The chassis is actually built on a Platinum model. And the cool part about this particular Platinum is a 701A equipment group. But not only that, but it is also equipped with a 5.0 and it's also equipped with the 373 gears. That's gonna be very important there towards the later of this video, the latter of this video. You don't wanna go anywhere because there are some surprises in this video along the way. Uh, but what we did is we said, okay, well, we want a truck that looks like a Platinum. This is what Mike was looking for. By the way, this was custom built for the customer and it's actually leaving out tomorrow on a Sunday. We're recording this on a Saturday and we're actually delivering this thing to him in his local state and so yes we do deliver nationwide if you guys want some more information about custom building a truck you can call us right there on the screen 205-491-0010 uh, but we took this Platinum model and let's do this. Let's show you the rest of the factory chassis and then we'll talk about what we actually did to the truck. So let's take a look at the inside first. On the inside of the truck, we actually had to go get this thing. We had to travel from Alabama to Arkansas, I think it was Arkansas, to pick this truck up. And the primary reason is the different color interior. So as you can see, this interior color is not the standard black that it comes with. This one has got the brown leather seats to it. Uh, and the beautiful thing about the Platinum F-150, it's got heated and cooled seats, but it's also got the massaging seats to it too. So if I had unlimited money and I'm buying whatever truck I wanted to, well, more than less, if my wife let me buy whatever I wanted to, it would be the Platinum primarily because of these seats. These seats uh, have got tiny little air bladders in them that inflate and deflate at different locations at different times and that gives you the massaging in your butt and in your back and let me tell you if you're doing a long haul in this truck there's nothing that's more rejuvenating than having that flowing through your legs um, now I want to talk about the rest of the chassis and then once again we're gonna get to the customization of what we did to the truck because trust me it gets crazy pretty quickly in this video uh, but this truck obviously has got every checkbox checked I mean it's got everything from your 360 degree camera it's got everything from the navigation system the sync connect system you've got the 10 speed automatic transmission you've got the 5.0 and like I said some surprises that are coming there towards later towards the end of the video but I also love the fact that you've got the push button start now you've seen a couple of our videos before that we actually there's a secret compartment in these trucks that if you actually have both sets of keys you can get the door code now if you take a look underneath this is going to be the slot that is designated for the key and the reason you want to do that is if the battery inside this key fob ever dies um, i could pull it out but this is a customer's vehicle it's already pre-sold i don't want to do that if you pop this thing out you can actually pull the battery completely out of the key fob and it won't unlock or lock the car but if you can get in it and this thing has zero batteries in it drop it in here and there's a low frequency wavelength that goes through the key it tells that you're the owner of the vehicle and it still lets you start the truck a very very cool feature that same thing there if you have both sets of keys and you can't remember what your door code is you drop one key in there you don't start it but you turn it on you take it out you do the same thing with the other key and it actually tells you your door code on the instrument cluster, a very cool feature that not a lot of people realize on the Ford F-150. But once again, this is not designed to be necessarily a tutorial video. This one is going to be a video that showcases the baddest F-150 we have ever built. And I'm not exaggerating about that. This is the most expensive one, the most elaborate, and really it's been the most fun because if I had a truck, this is one, if I had a, a truck and could build one the way I want it, this would be it. So let's talk a little bit about what we did to the truck itself. Let's start off with the grill. So this particular grill 
is very unique. The customer did not want the shiny chrome on the grill. It was too much. Yeah, between the chrome mirror caps and the chrome handles and the chrome grill and the chrome applique in the rear, it was just too much for him. And I agree. It was a very good call on his part. What he said is, okay, well, let, let's do a blacked out grill. And so what we did is we took the grill, not out of an STX, because this thing has got the camera located in the front. So what we did is we took the grill out of a Lariat Sport appearance package with the black appearance package. The only downside is, is that it comes with this surround is black, but this insert is more like a silver or a gray, and it didn't match the rest of the truck. So we kept this factory, we sanded the honeycomb down and repainted it black to match the rest of the truck. But then you have a Ford logo that is blue with the silver. So instead of just ordering a Ford factory black appearance package emblem that has got that weird looking gray on, instead of the chrome, we actually disassembled this Ford logo completely and we sanded and painted everything that was blue to make it black. And we left the chrome, since we're going with a silver, black, and a chrome theme on this truck, we left the chrome B. And I think it turned out fantabulous. That's a real word if you didn't know that. <laughs> but let's do this while we're still on the front side. Let's get down and let's take a look at the suspension itself. This is a BDS four inch coil over suspension system. So as you can see, you're looking at the cross member right now. That cross member is designed to be one of the beefiest and baddest to uh, really accept the abuse, but also to make sure all the driveline angles and the suspension angles are correct. Now, as we move that camera over around to the suspension and the shocks and things like that, you can see these things have got a set of Fox coil over shocks with the remote reservoir up top. Now, one of the things that Mike requested is that he didn't want this truck to be loud on the outside. He didn't want to draw unnecessary attention. He wanted it to perform and to have the best ride quality when he's going to the hunting camp, but he also wanted to make sure that it just wasn't gaudy from the distance. So we upgraded these coilovers, and coincidentally, the actual coilover his, his black, or not, not black, the, the uh, remote reservoir is black, and he didn't want any extra gaudy, so we removed the sticker. We were actually prepared to sand and paint the reservoir, uh, but we didn't have to, thanks to Fox for making it black from the factory. Uh, but what you've got here is a set of 35-inch BFG ATKO2 tires, and those are wrapped around a set of Fuel Warrior wheels. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful um, a black with a milled insert look, and I think it looks fantastic. Fantastic. And as you look down the side of the vehicle itself, you'll also see that it doesn't have a whole lot of poke. He was very concerned about making sure that the tire didn't extend too far out of the truck because he didn't want to go with fender flares. The reason we couldn't go with fender flares is because this truck features active park assist. So fender flares come about right here. And as you can see, you do the fender flares and it actually covers up this, um, this factory sensor. Now, Southern Comfort has been able to do a relocation for one time on one of those sensors, but it took them about a week or two weeks just to get the calibration of that one sensor done and completed. And since then, they have vowed that they are never going to do it again. Uh, but anyways, um, and that was a good customer that drove up from Florida to buy her Black Widow that had those fender flares on a Platinum. But nonetheless, this particular truck, we couldn't go with the fender flares, so we wanted to make sure that we went with the correct offset. And I don't recall what the offset is off the top of my head, so I'm going to put that right on the screen. And that is what yielded that particular poke on this particular uh, suspension system. As you know, the Platinums all come with the power deployable running boards from the factory, so it's not something that we modified. But one thing that you'll notice is that when you go with those coilover upgrades, it also comes with the Fox rear shock absorbers to go with that as well. And one thing that I am very interested in is the MagnaFlow exhaust system. And I'm gonna take a second to say, if you haven't already registered for a MagnaFlow free exhaust giveaway, make sure you do that. It's tccustoms.com forward slash giveaway. If you do that, no purchase necessary. You don't have to buy a shirt or a hoodie or anything like that. Automatically enters you into winning a free MagnaFlow exhaust system, but not just any MagnaFlow exhaust system. At the time I'm recording this video, Town & Country, TC Customs, is the only manufacturer in the world that is authorized. We've got the exclusive deal with MagnaFlow for the black tip exhaust on the F-150. So it's very, very cool. If you want that, I'm gonna link that right below so you can purchase that exhaust. And by the way, if you purchase the exhaust and then you win the giveaway, we'll reimburse you 100% 
Uh, so go ahead and get your exhaust system now while you've got it. Now the other cool part about this particular build, and it's a little dusty as you can see, but it's a really good looking rear applique. Once again, the customer didn't want too much chrome. He wanted a little bit of chrome, but not too much. And he thought that the rear applique was way too much, so we sanded it down completely and repainted it. But we didn't just sand you know, tape around this and then tape around that. We actually removed the emblems, we sand this down, we paint it, and then we put new emblems back in. And if you look at the rear Ford logo, you'll see that it is also matching the front Ford logo, whereas we've got the chrome surround and the chrome inserts with a black instead of a blue emblem. And so yes, if you're wondering, can you disassemble the rear Ford, Ford logo on the applique of the Platinum, because we couldn't tell off the, you know, just there was, we couldn't find anything on the internet. If it could be disassembled, well, we're here to tell you that it can be, and that's proof of it. Now, in addition to that, what we did is we also threw in a BMW three ball tow and stow hitch system. And the nice part is, is if you walk it around and you hit your knee on it, yeah, it's gonna hurt like hell, I'm not gonna lie. But you can actually remove these pins, swing the thing around, and you don't have to worry about it hitting your shins. Um, but I kinda like having it out this way, and the reason for that is because you've got a really nice step into the bed of the truck and it's adjustable in height. So I actually utilize this thing as two purposes. Yes, it'll help you with, with towing. Yes, it'll also help you access the bed of the truck as well. And the other cool part is this particular truck has got, because it's a platinum model, it's got the remote tailgate release, but you can see it's got the step here as well. This step is automatically higher than what you've got here on the truck. So um, I think B&W has got a great way, especially on the three ball and the two balls, because when you do it that way, you've got a nice flat area that's big enough for a size 14 shoe to have plenty of place to step on. So I think it's a fantastic way to access the bed of the truck itself. And then you can see the other side of the MagnaFlow exhaust system on the driver's side. I love this exhaust system because it's not very loud. Um, in fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and listen to it right now so you can hear what that exhaust system sounds like. So as you can hear, it's got a nice deep throaty sound to it, but it's not going to kill you on a long trip to the hunting camp or to the beach or to the mountains, wherever you're going to go. You'd feel comfortable driving this all day long. Uh, once again, don't forget that giveaway down below. But before we move on to the rest of the truck and to the surprise that I've got for you there towards the end of this video, let's take a look at the other thing. It's the small attention to detail. And I tell you, Mike, the customer is very attentive to details. And that's why I absolutely love this thing uh, and have loved this build because it's made it so much fun. But we've replaced the FX4 logo. As you know, it's got a whole, from the factory, it's got a whole bunch of red in it and it didn't match the rest of the truck. So what we did is we took the black appearance package FX4 stickers and installed them on both sides of the truck itself. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, uh, another accessory that we added is one that's often overlooked and that is going to be the uh, ability to go with this. But this is going to be the addition of a nice sturdy location for adding whatever you need to in the truck. It's got a lockable system to it. And as you can see, you've got removable trays. Um, this is, uh, you could use this as a cooler if you wanted to, or you can put some lightweight tools in there. And I'll tell you my favorite part about this whole setup is how easy it is to, uh, to actually remove it if you need the extra space. All you have to do is lift it up and there you go. It's literally, once you've got it installed with this bracket, it's very easy to remove it and uninstall it. But if you're concerned about someone stealing it, that's okay, you can actually put a padlock right here and guess what, nobody can steal it. And also, while it's like this, you can't steal it when it's like this. So if, as long as you've got the tailgate shut and everything like that, you should be fine on theft if that is a concern to you. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap it up with underneath the hood. And that is what I'm very, very excited to show you. I mentioned to you earlier, this is the most expensive build we've ever done. Um, and that's saying something because we do a lot of builds. Um, one of the reasons this is one of the most expensive ones is what you've got right here. The Roush TVS 2.65 liter supercharger cranking out 650 horsepower with a full factory warranty. A full three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. A full three year 36,000 mile powertrain warranty. This thing is a 
absolute beast. When you mate that 650 horsepower up to the 373 gears on a 35 inch tire, this is why I love TC Customs, is because there's a lot of manufacturers that can you know, do you know, um, a lot of good lift kits. There's not, I'm not gonna lie, but this level of attention to detail is something that TC Customs is known for. You have the ability to do these small little attentions to details. Everything that I've already lined out to you is something that a, a you know a big nationwide company not necessarily can can have the ability to step down and do what it takes to pay attention to the details. And that's one of the things that I love about TC Customs is that you have that ability to step down and look at the nitty nitty gritty. And so there you go. That is our video showcasing what if unlimited funds. This is my truck. I, Mike, I hope you like this truck. If you don't, please trade it back in. I'll, I'll take it myself. So I've really enjoyed Mike, and this, this is to you, Mike. Thank you so much for being such a fun customer. I've enjoyed the relationship we've built over the last couple of weeks, building this truck with you and for you. Um, and to the rest of our subscribers, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it a little entertaining. If you have some questions about the build itself, leave those in the comments. We'll be hanging out around there to hopefully answer any questions that you guys have. Got any questions about building your own one? Give us a call, 205 491 0010, if you want some information. We do builds from very, very mild all the way to crazy and wild, just like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. I'm